At the end of a great journey, these pink salmon return to Pullen Creek to start their magical salmon cycle anew. We are here to ensure a pair's genetic diversity carries on and to present it to you along the way. We needed a male for its milt and a female for its eggs. Over the course of a long and wet morning, we went about to catch two salmon with gnats, which is easier said than done. We had to rewrite our battle plans a few times, but eventually we had a first catch, a male. We had our second catch. After a test to check its gender, we had our female. important that the milt and eggs stay dry as they were water activated. So after giving the pair some time to dry off and for their functions to turn off, we brought them in under our lab tent. First up, we performed the milt take. This is done by positioning the bag and simply working his abdomen to squeeze the milt out. Once either component comes into contact with water, we will have about 15 seconds to finish the fertilization. So to ensure there's no water, we started by giving the female an additional dry off with a towel. The egg take is performed by cutting from the vent up to the pectoral fins. After this, we can remove all the eggs from the fish and into the bucket. Finally, having all our ingredients, we were able to head back to the lab and begin the fertilization process. This starts by collecting all the eggs into a smaller container. And then pouring in and mixing in our milk. added creek water to activate everything, and within a 10 to 15 second window, it should all come together. The rest of this process involved repeated rinses to wash away excess blood and slime that made its way into the mixture.
top it all off, we added the now fertilized eggs to the bottom of the tank and gave them time to harden with the water. And so concludes the origin story of our fishy friends we now know and love, soon to be released to continue their magical salmon cycle.